Such a poser, you should be model. So, Bo, where are we right now? We're pitch, top of pitch 20, right? I think it's pitch 21. 21. Let me get my uh, top bottom or brassiere here. We are on 21. Hey, let's see, why don't you point out for the people at home. Okay, so we went all the way up there, and then up there, and then now we're right there. It pulls yeah, we're going to gonna try to get to this ah, That's really tonight. good focus there. And we're going to try to get to there. So we have to go about a quarter of a page, or half a page. Yeah. Not a big deal, half a page. So we're at tw pitch 20. What does your altimeter say? We're at 6,000. 6,020, and we started at, well, the, the meadow down there is 3,900. That's us, and this is, goes straight down like that. It's a lot better picture of the meadow, and actually, if you look really closely, there's my car, right there. That's my car, that's my weekend. There you go. Okay. So, you know, we can say hi to my car. Beautiful vista, a little better view around here. And uh, so, we're off. Bo's gonna go right up this crack and up there into the dihedral. So we're in the last last third of the climb. Oh, easily. Easily last third. And uh, it's t Monday morning at 8.46. We're getting a little late start today. Bob chickened out on doing this pitch himself. But he's a, because he's a wimp. Okay, bye. Picture of Bo's leg. It's recording, Pedro. This is my new attire. I think I'm going to become, you know, wear this to the bank. You know, dry lips and, you know, boogers on my nose, things like that, and shave, no shave. So this is what we're kind of hanging out in. It's uh, fun. There are birds actually living in these cracks. You can hear them. You can hear them uh, chirp. It's fun when you stick your hand in there. That's where we're going. We're right alongside the great roof right now. Right. You can only see just the edge of it. You can't really see it. I can get the side. There it is. That's the edge of the great roof. You can see uh, the bolts that our buddy <laughs> Kurt put in. Deserve to go to jail for that. There's another one up there. That's not even on route. It's a little base <laughs> variation he made. But I shouldn't complain because I'm using one of his bolts right now. Hey, we slept on that right there. Yeah, that's kind of where we hung out on tonight. That's all there is at this play. The rest of it's just a couple cams I threw into this crack, and the left side of the crack is hollow. <laughs> but I'm sure it's good enough. <laughs> It'll yeah. probably fall off the minute we get off it, though. And we do have the luxury of a beautiful ledge to stand on here. You might be able to see that. A nice foot wide. Yeah. Smells good too. <laughs> but anyhow, we're going to try to get some business done today. And uh, hope you'll join us next time we can talk to you. Hey Bob, what did you just do? Huh? What did you just do? <laughs> this is definitely not getting on the tape that everyone else sees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's just, he's just seconding the pitch, really. <laughs> so just a special maneuver where you have to take your harness off. And don't, don't mind this stuff. Don't mind that. What is that, Bob? Uh, it's a uh, chalk. Chalk, hand chalk. I need it. Looks like toilet paper. <laughs> huh, that's neat. We just spent the night under this roof that Bob is standing above right now. Kind of around the corner there. Little did we know there's these great ledges up here. Well, we did know, but we... With both portal ledges, so comfortable. Yeah, the portal ledge was great. We didn't need those ledges. No, the deal was, it was getting late. Except I couldn't get away from Bo's feet. Yeah, my feet were a little, little rank. But, um, you know, what happens when you don't change them? The socks, that is. So we're getting close to the summit now. Now we're uh, approximately uh, six pitches to the top. So this morning we've we've led one so far. There's a ledge over there. 
I've been trying to figure out what route it is. You can see there's some slings there and stuff. I was guessing it was like Chieftain Ledge or Chicken Head Ledge for the shield, but I don't think the shield gets as close to the mirror, but maybe it does. And there's a bolt ladder that follows right off of that pitch. It kind of extends all the way up to the to the edge there. Alright, back with you here. Camera's warning me that I'm running out of film, but Bob just informed me that he brought another another tape. What a boy scout. There's some people down. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. There were some people is a better better way to describe it. You see that big shadowy edge down there? I think that's the edge of the Great Roof. And uh, we're looking down on Camp 4. And that tower just on the rim of the bushes down there is a uh, El Cap Tower. If we move across, you can see Sickle Ledge right down there right in the center of the screen. There were people sleeping there last night, I believe. And then you can see the rest of the uh, beginning of the nose route, the fourth class terrace at the base there. And of course, the wonderful road that we've been watching. Bob's car. Bob's car. Nope, that's not it. There it is, right in the center of the screen. I can't find mine. I think it's right to the right of it. But uh, it's a good day for Big Wall. I never complain when we get a ledge. Real nice view of Middle Cathedral there. And we got ourselves the Leaning Tower right there. That's the, uh, the north base of the Leaning Tower. And of course, then you got. Higher Cathedral Rock right there. The north face of that as well. And what else can we see, see from up here? Nothing exciting. And just a minute, I'll film Bob uh, cleaning some of these pitons and stuff to give you an idea of what he goes through every day. Okay, You're Bob? Cameraman there, Bob. What? You're a born cameraman. I'm working on it back with you in a sec. Alright, here's Bob. Yeah, straining and grunting. Putting on show for us. He's cleaning pitch 26. Um, we got ourselves a piton there that he needs to get out. Now Bob, yes. what's the trick to getting pitons out? Hit them hard! <laughs> what do we have there Bob? That looks like a half inch angle maybe? That looks like uh, a lot of pain, a lot of pain for this piton, <laughs> a lot of pain, a lot of pain. Now Bob, has there ever been a piton you haven't been able to extract? Not one that you placed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah, yesterday Bob had a little ordeal with a knife blade that was fixed. He My boat didn't tell me it was fixed until I hit it about 25 times. I go, Bob, maybe that thing was fixed. <laughs> so Bob, what's the procedure here? We're procedure looking at the is to take this prickly thing. Yeah, the stick, cool jerk. Stick this through here. Uh-huh. Uh, like that. Uh, one of the keys is not to look down. Hurry up, Bob, two minutes of film here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have two minutes of film left? Yeah. Uh-oh. I'll have to do the speed extraction. Yeah. Let's see how it's done. Alright, hook it in. So use that hammer, huh? Use this hammer. Yeah. And smash. Start whacking on it, huh? <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. And voila! Let's, Et see, voila. let's see that. Le piton est là. <laughs> this is better than fishing, Bob, for sure. Yes, it is. Fishing for iron.
Okay. Uh. We'll uh, pause until he gets up to the next bin, and hell, we'll look at him and get that one out. Right? Yep. Got ourselves a helicopter buzzing through the valley here. With some injured climber. <laughs> Someone who just bit it. Those guys come in and out of the valley about four times a day. I'll be darned if there's that many people getting hurt. I bet there's some really rich guy in Milwaukee that's ordering like fresh seafood from the coast. He's ordering main lobster. Number two. Ooh, this one's not moving much. Look at that. Bo must have put that in pretty good, huh? That's what Bo does when he's scared. Whoa, hey ho! <laughs> Has Bob met his match? Meet us next time on tape number two. That doesn't look like fun, Bob. <laughs> I wanted to be a carpenter, I would have been be hammering nails. If the film is still rolling, this is where we're heading today. Up in the blue yonder here. Hopefully up right to the blade in the center of the screen there. <laughs> 